lower as possible. And most important, maybe you trade this pair or stocks mm -hmm. in general, or maybe you're trading just Bitcoin, but it is still a good idea to check what the ES is doing because most of the time Bitcoin will follow. That is the general rule. And it is good um, to keep an eye on what's going on in this chart. I would like to keep this fairly simple. If, if the price managed to claim this CC, then we do have a couple of highs here, right? So some consolidation. But other than that, we will look, need to start to look towards this area and even higher. We get back to this triple top taken and then we've seen what happened. But again, level to level for the moment, we are here and we need to check what's going on with this chart, sorry. Let me take a quick drink and let's see what's, what's going on. Okay, so this is ES, DXY. DXY, again, fairly, fairly simple. Um, let's start with the, um, with a higher time frame, right? So remember this level, this level, like I said, this is not, this is a very old level. You need to go to, to weekly to actually to get this level. So it is this high here. As long as this level is holding as support, definitely more upside is possible. So that level is, like I said, 109, 770. Again, don't think about this as an exact level. Think about more as an area. Also, and this is why I like patterns. This is how I like to see the chart into patterns. Remember what I said, the CC here, the CC pull from this low to obviously to actually not this high because I've made that mistake once. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually this high, right? The, the first time I was pulling it from this high, from this high, but definitely we need to pull it from uh, to this high, so low to, to high. This is the CC. Remember, I always say DXY likes to go below the CC, spend some time there, and after that, you see the, the push to the upside, right? So we do have, I would say, high time frame confluences in that area, right? Other than that, very, very simple. We move to this one. You all know what happened here. Swing failure pattern, swing failure pattern. Price moves once again below the, somewhere around the, the CC, right? That we have here, CC holding. You can see this time, the first time swing failure pattern, second time claimed claimed price moves once again here boom and then the price moves to the next important level on the chart which is basically you remember this low right this low holding as support here then lost back tested giving the possibility of this entire section here so obviously we do have this range price get acceptance in here right during the weekend and so on. This was last week. This is um, the, the open that we had. And currently we are at CC, right? Definitely this one is at resistance. Now we need to check obviously the, the local CC pull from this high to obviously to this low. So we need to go in to see, to check what's going on here, right? If this CC will be claimed, then very simple, I will be looking towards this level, right? You see this this low price get acceptance in here. Then we do have this range starting with this high, this high. And other than that, I'll think about this high again. We've got this really, really nice swing failure pattern, giving the possibility of all this move to the downside. And now we need to see what's, what's going on. Definitely keep an eye on this one for inverse correlation. This is at resistance. So we need to check what Bitcoin and what ES is doing here. Okay, the price is once again to the previous day equilibrium. Okay, we had some bearish CVD divergences here. So we need to see what's what's going on. That would be my uh, very, very simple, my, my trading plan for today. Really important, use this kind of information that you, you get from this, from this local range, this level, 
holding a support this one and other than that more downside